I'm Lisa Butterworth, sometimes known as Kenzie, and I am a henna artist and the owner of a henna supply business, Kenzie.com. Today, I'll unleash your inner henna artist and have you drawing henna designs all over your friends and anyone else who will sit still. I'm going to show you how to draw some basic shapes in henna. So most shapes are made up of simple lines. It's really not very complicated. Straight lines, curved lines, dots, and I will show you how to do a little bit of everything. So the first thing that you need to master is the straight line. And I find that the best way to get long straight lines that are very clean and very straight is to use a draping technique. So this involves just letting a little bit of the henna out of the bottle or your cone and just kind of draping the line. You get a very nice clean line and you can just keep going forever. If you try and draw it with the bottle, it picks up every little wiggle of your hand. It even picks up your pulse and you tend to get a less straight and clean line. So I like to drape it. So I recommend starting with drawing a lot of lines and getting really good at keeping the line from breaking. So just do line after line until you get really, really good at that. This is a really basic skill that everyone should learn. Once you have the straight line down, then you can start combining the lines, making squares like this. Again, using the draping technique and then squares within squares, touching down whenever you want to change the angle. And then more lines. See, everything is just lines. And then the next thing you want to do is learn how to make curves. Curves are very simple. It's a little bit harder to use the draping technique doing curves, but you, but you still do it just a little bit closer to the skin. So practice doing curves. And then the ultimate curve is the circle. So just draw your circle. And just practice these until you can get a perfect circle. It's also possible to use the draping technique to draw a circle and you get a nice clean line with that. But this takes a little bit more practice. And then this will give you a very consistent thickness of line, but if you want a thicker line, just go slower and squeeze harder. And this, for this, the technique of um, draping a line doesn't work very well, but this is how you get thick lines. And another method is to just draw lines like that and then fill in the space in between by just squeezing hard. So it's a question of changing the pressure that you have on the bottle and um, putting together a bunch of lines. Another thing that you can use a lot in henna designs is dots and that really doesn't require a lot of explanations. It's just squeeze and blob and pull up. And then if you want bigger ones, you know, you can kind of circle around or just hold your bottle in one place and get a dot. And those are the basics of doing pretty much any henna design.